Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovery science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids. Today I'm going to tell you about CPR. CPR, which stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation, is a set of actions that should be done if a person stops breathing or if their heart stops. The goal of CPR is to force blood and oxygen to keep flowing through the body. Every part of the body needs blood and oxygen to survive. CPR does not start a person's heart again. However, it can keep pushing blood and oxygen around the body long enough that sometimes it can keep the body from getting damaged by not having enough oxygen. CPR is a critical step in the American Heart Association's AHA chain of survival, which also includes recognizing cardiac arrest, activating emergency services, and other steps. Immediate CPR can double or triple a person's chances of survival after cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest, also known as sudden cardiac arrest, SCA, is a medical emergency that occurs when the heart suddenly stops beating. This prevents blood from flowing to the brain and other vital organs, which can cause a person to lose consciousness, become disabled, or die if not treated immediately. The steps for performing CPR is to check the scene, make sure it's safe, call 911. If help is needed, call 911 or ask the one else to be ready to tell the 911 operator where you are, who you are, and what's happened. Do not hang up. The operator will help you by telling you what to do. Open the airway, tilt the person's head back slightly and lift their chin, making sure their mouth is clear. Perform chest compressions. Place the palm of your hand over the center of the person's chest. Then place your other hand on top. Keep your elbows straight and shoulders directly above your hands. Using your upper body weight, push down on the chest at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. About 2 inches deep but no more than 2.4 inches. Push hard and fast, allowing the chest to rise fully between each compression. If you haven't been trained in CPR, continue chest compressions until the person shows signs of movement or emergency medical help arrives. If you have been trained in CPR, you can move on to rescue breathing. Rescue breathing, open the airway by tilting the head back and lifting the chin, pinch the nose shut, take a normal breath, and then completely seal your mouth over the person's mouth. Each breath should last about one second and make the chest rise. Allow air to exit before the next breath. Repeat continuous this pattern of 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths until medical help arrives. Or the person shows signs of life like breathing. Try to minimize interruptions to chest compressions to less than 10 seconds. If an AED is available, use it as soon as possible. AED stands for Automated External Defibrillator, a medical device that can help people experiencing sudden cardiac arrest. CPR is different. For kids, victims under 12 years of age need a special pattern of chest compressions and mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing. To perform that kind of CPR, you have to be certified, by the way. Adventurous Kids audience, you should get certified so you can be ready in case of an emergency that requires CPR. To get CPR certified, you can find a CPR training program and enroll in a class. In the class, many organizations offer CPR courses, including health organizations, hospitals, community health centers, fire departments, and community colleges. You can choose between 
in person, online, or hybrid courses if you plan to work in a place that's subject to occupational safety and health administration OSHA regulations. You may need to take an in person class or hybrid course that meets OSHA requirements. Study the course material after enrolling. You'll need to study the course material, which may include lectures, videos, and demonstrations. Complete the course, complete the course modules, test the quiz, and make payment. You should then be able to download your CPR certificate and wallet card online. FYI, some employers require employees to renew their CPR certifications. By the way, never ever practice CPR on a person doing compressions when they're not needed and cause serious injuries. You can practice CPR using a CPR mannequin, also known as a CPR dummy or mannequin. These replicas of the human body or torso help ensure that you're using proper techniques such as hand placement, chest compression, depth and rate, and rescue breathing. You can also use mannequins to learn the differences between CPR for infants, children, and adults. There are things that medical professionals can do to help after the victim is in the emergency room, they can use a machine called the defibrillator to give an electrical shock to the heart. This will not restart the heart that is not beating. However, if the heart is beating in a way that is not normal, the electric shock may make the heart go back into a normal rhythm. If the heart is not beating at all, they can give medicines like epinephrine or atrophine to restart the heart. Thanks for watching this episode of Adventurous Kids. Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. Adventurous. Adventurous.